welcome students today we will see very important point about the limitations or shortcomings of the bohr's atomic model no doubt bohr was uh, highly successful in explaining lot many things but you know everything has some limitation so same was case with the uh, niels bohr and some uh, there were serious objections like you know a uh, bohr model was able to explain about the spectrum of hydrogen or simple uh, species but what about other so it was unable to explain so first point this theory is unable to explain the spectrum of heavier atoms heavier atoms or you can say multi electron species multi multi electron species actually it was the beginning of the atomic structure and so uh, if you see honestly there is not any fault of niels bohr because science was just in the teenage so nothing was known about this now second point second objection uh, that this theory was unable to explain about the region behind the balancing of the electron with the uh, angular momentum so this theory was unable to verify the angular momentum angular momentum mvr is equal to nh upon 2 pi the balancing of electrons this was able to uh, provide reason for it that how the electrons they are balanced inside an atom so this is the uh, second objection second drawback now third the splitting splitting of spectral lines spectral lines in electric field electric field and magnetic field was not explained splitting of spectral lines you know it is made up of very fine frequency so why there is this splitting of spectral lines why the lines are splitted in electric and magnetic field so this theory was not able to provide the reason behind this that why there is the splitting actually the electric field splitting electric field splitting and magnetic field splitting now they are very much important see how now this electric field splitting it is called as a stark effect it is called as a stark effect and it is called zeeman effect actually stark effect and zeeman effect stark and zeeman they are the name of scientist who were first to study the splitting and so uh, it has been named them then so or simply we can say stark effect and zeeman effect it was not explained by the bohr and so these are uh, the three points let's some see more now the next point next objection is the formation of fine spectral lines in the spectrum was not 
explain so children you have an idea about the spectral lines so spectral lines are of different kinds some spectral lines are broader some spectral lines are finer so you have an idea about the lehman series uh balmer series bracket series person series and fund series so there are further subdivisions you have know that there are some vertical lines so the lines are again if we use high resolution spectrometer actually uh bohr has also used high resolution spectrometer at that time and he found the finer lines so he was unable to provide the reason behind that why fine lines were obtained in spite of using the high resolution spectrometer so this was unable to explain now next about the uh, shapes of the molecules shapes of the molecules were not explained actually niels bohr was unable to explain about the molecular geometry molecular shapes that why some molecules have particular shape and so this is also one of the greatest objection that the shapes of molecules were not explained by niels bohr and one more very important point this theory was unable to explain the modern modern concepts modern concept means at that time the time of bohr many things were in the developing stage like de broglie equation de broglie relation then hessenberg's principle and so de broglie equation and hessenberg principle they are the ultimate in the modern atomic structure so these were not explained by the uh, niels bohr and so these are the some of the most important uh, points in the limitations of bohr's model